accounts, Ralph Morrison was a gentle soul. He was a family man. He never sought the limelight, but in a life that spanned nearly eight decades, he was always in the middle of the action, winning over and over again the respect and admiration of his friends and co-workers. Ralph put his considerable physical strength and boundless spirit of service to work in many pursuits throughout his life. But it was to the Collie Club of America and the Quarter Century Group that he left his greatest contributions. For that reason, we celebrate his life tonight. Ralph was born in Burlington, Iowa in 1913, and almost from his first steps, he was an avid sportsman. Life in a small town was good and traditional, and although his father died when Ralph was only six, his mother kept the family of four children together. She made sure he grew up with solid values, including a love of the church, which he kept throughout his life. At Burlington High School, Ralph excelled in all sports, being named to several all-star teams. He also loved hunting and frequently nabbed rabbits in the countryside around Burlington. He was an exceptional football player. In 1929, Ralph helped the Burlington Greyhounds defeat a Chicago high school in the state's first ever nighttime game under the lights west of the Mississippi River. Ralph graduated in 1931 and went on to junior college. He was offered a full athletic scholarship to the University of Iowa, but with the nation in the grip of the Great Depression, and a mother and sister at home, Ralph turned down the offer and went to work. In 1933, he hitchhiked to Amarillo, Texas, and went to work as a field hand in Pampa for the King Oil Company. This began a lifelong love affair with Texas. Soon after, he met Wilma Perkins, and they were married in November of 1937. Not long afterward, Ralph's fortunes took a turn for the better when he used his typing skills to fill in for an absent payroll clerk and was promoted the same day. Over the years, he held top jobs with many organizations, including the American Quarter Horse Association, where he served as assistant secretary treasurer for 15 years. For 10 years, he joined forces with a friend to establish the Morrison Carlisle Auction, from the sand-packed arenas of West Texas to the velvet-draped grandstands of Las Vegas, Morrison and Carlisle were known to the livestock world as Texas horsemen. He then went to work for the Vitaway Corporation of Fort Worth, where he was national credit manager. Later, he served as a vice president of the Western National Bank of Denton, Texas, until he retired. All his life, Ralph Morrison believed that family came first. He took care of his mother and her sisters for many years and enjoyed frequent visits in Iowa with his brother Earl and sisters Uni and Faye. When Wilma and Ralph had their own son, Tom, he quickly became a focus of their lives. Never forgetting that he lost his father at an early age, Ralph set about building memories with his son. Whether offering a hand with his first steps, harvesting hay for the winter, taking in a rare Amarillo snowfall, or enjoying a fire at Christmas time, it's safe to say that Ralph's love of family surpassed all other passions in his life, except perhaps Collie's.
Ralph joined the Collie Club of America in 1942 and quickly became one of its most energetic and supportive members. He studied hard to learn the breed inside and out. And he served in every capacity possible, from yearbook editor and judge to president and director at large. He even wrote the first history of the club. Ralph was so devoted to Collies and the Collie Club of America that the executive committee not only named him show chairman of the 1986 centennial, they created a special award bearing his name, the Ralph E. Morrison Best of Breed Trophy. The award is now given annually to the best of breed and will serve as a constant reminder of Ralph's contributions to the breed. Always the innovator, Ralph joined forces with the late Murray Drucker to form the Quarter Century Group in 1980. What is the Quarter Century Collie Group? Its purpose, in brief, is to further the improvement in the breeding of purebred collies through the group's educational, social, and supportive events. It is the sharing of years of experience in the collie, and as Ralph put it, it is people helping people. A very popular event is the annual Hall of Fame. Members nominate and elect three deceased individuals who have significantly influenced the Collie Dog's improvement and appreciation. Ralph was credentialed to judge the working group, the herding group, best in show, and junior showmanship. He judged all over the U.S., as well as Mexico, South America, and Canada. As a result, he was nominated several times for the Collie Review's annual Distinguished Service Award, finally winning in 1987. Alex Gibbs, considered a dean of Collies, has this to say of his good friend Ralph. I have outlived some of the greats in the dog game, but one I shall never forget, a man with a hearty handshake and a genial smile, a wonderful, true friend. Ralph, we will miss you. A fellow past president and secretary of the Collie Club of America described him this way. I want to talk about Ralph the man. Ralph was one of the kindest, most conscientious, most dedicated individuals that it has ever been my pleasure to know. Ralph's life revolved not only around his family and horses, where he was the secretary of the Quarter Horse Association, but the mainstay of his life was the Collie Club of America and the Collie. He compiled, and with, together with Bonnie Emmons and myself, the history of the Collie Club of America going all the way back to 1886. Lois Hillman had this to say, We owe this gentleman a deep debt of gratitude for what he gave us, the members of the Collie Club of America. For all of this, we say, Thanks, Ralph. We will miss you. In the words of Bill Broken, Ralph Morrison has done more for the Collie Club of America than any other person I can think of. Ralph Morrison and the Collie Club of America are almost one. Our club would not be where it is today without him. All of us gathered tonight share in the legacy of Ralph Morrison. Whether we be veteran members of the Collie Club of America or young people just starting out, and what this quiet and gentle soul left us is a straightforward guide for living. He was a master of organization. He was well read. He took very little for himself, yet shared everything he had with others. He always had time to listen, to let us know we had a friend we could talk to, a trait that won him many lasting friendships. He loved his family, and his handshake was his word. It's hard to believe that a year has passed since he left us, but those of us who knew Ralph are certain he is quietly, oh so quietly, making himself as indispensable in heaven as he was on earth. We salute Ralph Morrison, father, teacher, friend. A quiet giant among men who is sorely missed and will never be forgotten.